Hey everybody, I'm Emma Sparzon, and welcome back to this video series on how to make a 2D multiplayer tabletop card game using Unity and Mirror. In a previous episode, we noticed that when we built the game that we're working with to act as a client for our multiplayer game, we can see here in the console uh, all the different logs of things that have been happening that we've asked uh, to um, the debugger to handle for us. Uh, but we can't see them on the client side of things uh, when we are, we're using a built version of the game. So for development purposes, we're going to implement a script that handles that for us. And I must heavily, heavily caveat that, this, saying that I found this script on the internet, and to my eternal shame, I don't remember where I found it. Uh, I just like Googled, um, I don't know, um, debug log on built game Unity 2019 or whatever it is. I don't know. I just like uh, did uh, pretty much as best uh, Googling as you would do in the same situation and found this. So I'm just going to share it with you, um, uh, letting you know that it's not my script. I found it on the internet. It's been working for me. Hopefully it will work for you as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new game object here in the hierarchy of my scene. Just an empty one. We'll call it debug log display. And we'll add a component here. Let's call it a new script, also called debug log display. And because we've created it here, it will show up in our uh, root asset directory. We're just going to move that into the scripts folder. We'll navigate into that debug log display script. And I'm literally just going to type out <laughs> the script that I found online for you uh, because it uh, has been working for me and, you know, I don't see any reason why not. Okay, so drag this in here from another screen. And this can derive from mono behavior because it's just going to be uh, working locally for us. And we're just using this for development purposes. You wouldn't have this in your game. Um, we don't need anything that's already here. We'll say public string output equals nothing. And public string stack equals, you know, just empty quotation marks. Private void on enable application dot log message received plus equals handle log and then private void on disable application dot log message received minus equals handle log okay underneath all this we'll define void handle log which takes a string we'll call it log string string stack trace and log type type and then output will equal log string and stack will equal stack trace Okay, and then to round this out, we'll just say private void on GUI, GUI.label new RECT 150 5 800 60, and then we'll pass in out output and GUI label new RECT 150 65 800 60 comma stack that's it if you want to dig into how this works please uh, just feel free <laughs> uh, and uh, let's see let's see what that does for us 
So now I'm going to let it compile. I'm going to hit Control B to build. And because this is attached to the debug log display object, um, it will just work. Someday. We'll get there. Okay. I feel like we're getting close to building the game. <laughs> All right, here we are. Okay, so as we've done before, I'll hit play in my editor, and I will be client A, uh, as well as the server being a host. And you can already see there's something you know, happening up here. And then as the uh, client, client B, you'll be the client. You see uh, Mirror adding network, early late uh, update to Unity. And let's just check our console here. Um, let me collapse everything here. Uh, and uh, that's the, um, so what we'll see here is now when I um, draw cards on, uh, well, when you draw cards on your side of thing, and then I draw cards. Let's try something here. I'm gonna um, hover. I'm gonna ask you to hover over one of your cards and click it. Then we see this card has been clicked one time. Um, in your um, uh, right on your screen here, and then at the bottom of my screen, uh, my uh, console, I see this card has been clicked one time. I'll click on your card, the one that you clicked on. And we'll see this card has been clicked two times, and you are you also see um, this card has been clicked two times. So essentially, all we've done here is enabled uh, logging on your screen, whereas before we would just have a blank screen or not a blank screen, we'd have your your game scene, but we weren't able to see the uh, logs here, which might be helpful, particularly in issues of authority when um, I want to know, um, for example, here. Uh, remember, I uh, we created this target remote procedure um, call that says um, targeted by self, and when someone else clicks it, it says targeted by other. Um, I might want to test that on uh, this client versus my built client, and um, uh, it's not so helpful if I can't see the logs on my built client. You might have to do a little bit of work here to change the... Um, uh, the location of where this is so that you get to see more of the logs or mess in mess with the code a little bit But in general, I found this to do the job for me We'll see in the next video in this series actually that will obviate the need for this So you might not even need it at all because we'll use peril sync to spin up uh, multiple clones of the same um, uh, The same unity editor, but um, I find I've found this to be helpful in the development process in any re in any regard so I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please be sure to like it and subscri subscribe to my channel for more. You can also follow me on Twitter or um, check out my books and games, which I'd love for you to do at nightpathpub.com. And we'll see you again soon.